Hey Internet, this is Nate, you're watching iRoll Ones, and I'm uh, about to talk to you about a project that was near and dear to my heart. Um, it's a miniature project from an awesome miniature company called Oathsworn Miniatures in the UK, I believe. Uh, it's a little company by uh, made by two people, Oathsworn, uh, Michael and Joe uh, Lovejoy, and it's a husband and wife team that the husband is a sculptor the wife also um, has just recently gotten into sculpting with this last line she did a little bit of a terrain and she's done some other some other terrain kind of pieces before but they do really great work they're really awesome people to work with and deal with and I love them to death I love their company to death probably one of my favorite companies so far so let me show you the line. Alright guys, so what you're looking at here is just a sampling of what Oathsworn miniatures can do. Their first line was a miniature line based on uh, dwarves, and they did a lot of the dwarf stuff here. I'm going to block off some of my other miniatures behind you. You can see some years of war stuff back there but uh, this is the line of Redwall inspired miniatures from Oathsworn it's uh, Redwall and Watership Down um, those kinds of things uh, and the cool thing about this is how this came about at least to me this is one of the things that makes it so near and dear to me um, and I'll show you some close-ups of some of the stuff. Here is the some of the terrain pieces that I've painted quite poorly by Joe Lovejoy. It's a nice little tent piece here, and a larger tent for some of the some of the bigger creatures, uh, some of the bigger animals. Um, there's also some wall pieces, room buildings, and such that they that they have done. Um, we got some really cool little guys here but um, what happened was years ago not years about a year ago or a year and a half ago I was on uh, Facebook or not Facebook I was on the Reaper miniature site and I was discussing with um, Michael about his Dwarven stuff and people were talking about you know what they'd love to see him do next and at the time I was heavy into reading the Redwall series and I made comment that I thought that Michael would do awesome at doing a Redwall type inspired game and I'd, I'd seen Dark Sword stuff and they just all seemed the same size and I was like well what about some minis that kind of represent the actual sizes of the animals they, they represent I don't know how good in focus you can get on these guys here but uh, you can see some really awesome detail. Anyway, uh, it's like you, you have these miniatures, and all of them are kind of similar in size, even though they're different species of animal. And I think you could do a really awesome job capturing the essence of what I believe the Redwall series would do, what I believe the watership down kind of series has as far as like emotions not necessarily the exact look um, they're more red wall to me than than watership down or anything of that nature but they do have this this quality this real quality to them not not cartoony not you know and I love mouselings and things but they're not cartoony like that um, anyway so I mentioned that to him comes a few years later or not I'm really off on my times so it's really difficult to, to talk about it without making it. it seems so long but it was actually maybe like a few months later actually and he posts some pictures and I'm gonna show these guys to you because they're my favorite ones they're the ones he posted first and most recent um, post this picture of this guy little guy right here and let's see if we can get into focus a little bit better and he's not focusing great there's not a lot of macro here going on um, 
but he's a little mouse warrior. And I was like, oh my god, that's that's Martin, that's that's Matthias, that's that's the mouse mouse warrior from Redwall. That's one of those guys. That's so awesome. And he posted that. And he posted this big huge badger. And took and put that there. And I was like, oh, that's so awesome. And I was like, that's fantastic. And what else did he post? I think he posted this guy, maybe. I was like, these are perfect. These are so perfect. And then he said that these were just little fun projects that he was doing for himself. And that eventually they'd get tossed in the little recycle bin or whatever, or in the green bin, and they would never come out and come to play. So I worked to have a campaign with a bunch of people, talk to them, spread it around, showing these to as many people as I could, so they would get the information out about getting these guys made. And so he would have no choice but to kickstart these. And of course, everybody loved them because they're amazing, and he kickstarted them. And lo and behold, now he's come out with some some skirmish, miniature skirmish game stuff. And I haven't played it yet because I'm not a miniature skirmish game guy myself. But look at these guys. Look at the detail in these little figures. This guy, this guy here, the, the rabbit, he's at this point, I think, my favorite. And he's named them all, and I don't know all the names to him anymore. I know this guy. And this guy is, the reason I know the name to, of this guy is because this is the type of thing that makes me think how great he is as a person, as a businessman, as anything. Because they believed at the time or thought that this particular line would have never happened without me, they named this little guy after me, and I love it. It's fantastic. His name is Nate the Wanderer, and he is so cool. He's one of my favorites. Um, him and the rat, him and the hare, are my favorites. But look at all, look at these stances. Look at these awesome, menacing poses. He has the fox and a nice fox assassin crouch. Really awesome. Oop. There went Marcus Phoenix. Just beautiful, just beautiful. The weasel. Beautiful work. He does amazing things. Uh, the rat. Now, he's intelligent enough, he knows that a rat's tail's not prehensile, it won't wrap around the blade like the, the, the hen, stuff like this. Somebody mentioned that to him. But also, Clooney the Sturge has a blade wrapped in his tail too, so I mean, it's not like we're following, following everything here. They walk around and they talk, come on guys. But, it's beautiful work, beautiful work. Anyway, the company is Oathsworn Miniatures. They have more lines than just this. They have Dwarven uh, Brewmasters line. They have uh, normal Dwarven Heroes line. They have regular Heroes line with some monsters. They have an amazing owl bear. The owl bear is just so cool. Uh, go ahead, check them out. I'm going to link uh, the website down below. And yeah, thanks for watching this long rambly video. Bye guys.